Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you what a day in the life and finally MBBS looks like, motivating you, inspiring you to be more productive and get into a good medical college. After waking up at 6.30 and not realizing that I have to make a vlog, I waste two hours without recording any footage and then I get ready for the clinical posting. Hi everyone, my name is Anuj. I'm finally an MBBS student at GMC Nagpur. Welcome back to my channel. And today is the second day of posting of week two in obstetrics and gynecology. And today I've got the ward, so I'm gonna go and take some cases and present them, and of course learn a lot from them. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, let's go. Let's start up this beautiful journey uh, in week two of obstetrics. We have reached Government Medical College Hospital now. Hello everyone, we have arrived in the ward. Uh, I won't be showing you the patients because that would be kind of inappropriate. Uh, so I'm just gonna go and take some history with a few of my friends and we're gonna present it later on. In history taking, we first go over the demographic data of the patient. Then we ask the history of amenorrhea. Then we go to the chief complaints as to why she is in the hospital in the first place and the details of these complaints in history of presenting illness. Along with it, we take the history of the previous pregnancies and the current pregnancy. After this, we examine the patient in a general way and then we move ahead with the systemic examination of, of CVS, RS, CNS, and finally per abdomen examination in which we do a lot of different things but most importantly we do these four maneuvers which tell us the condition of the fetus where we find out the age of gestation what is the fetal lie what is the presenting part is the head engaged or not and all of these different things makes us come to a final diagnosis of that patient after this is done we talk amongst each other before the lecture finally begins and we are taught about all of the different things regarding this condition that we are faced with today that was pre-eclampsia after the posting was done i met up with my friends because they are posted in a different unit and we had a chat about what is going on in their lives because it's been so long since we hung out before. After that I went to a local shop to buy some books. I was worried that I have to study so much and second of all, the books are also pretty expensive. I guess my total bill for 4 books was around 2700 or so. But it is needed anyway so I bought them and had a nice cola. I've just bought the books for finally MBBS and it, I'm coming to the realization that third year is over. It's 2 o'clock and my posting and everything ended. We had a nice cola. Preeclampsia, and that basically means when your BP is high in pregnancy, and that is because of uh, some immunological mechanisms. So we took the history, we did the clinical examination, and we presented the case. It was good. We had a discussion about what is the management treatment. Hi everyone. So yes, finally has begun. No, the third year results are not out yet, but once they will be, I will definitely be in final year. Pakka se, but I'm pretty sure that I would pass in it. Fingers crossed. I really hope that these are not famous last words. Let's talk a little bit about it because I feel like a lot of you guys have joined me since I was in second year MBBS and now you've seen me go through third year and now I'm finally in final year. So the last two years have been the most craziest years of my entire life because I never imagined that the YouTube channel which I just started to teach spinal nerve to a random student would turn out to be such a big one and impact the lives of so many different students and people watching this so again I'm really really grateful that you guys are all supporting me in this and you really enjoy the videos that I love making and also according to the MBBS schedule and timetable the last two years were very much based on theory and not much on practical whereas the last year of MBBS is very very much practical so it's equivalent that if you are done with the marrow videos of let's say the first three years you can be pretty confident that you know that subject. 
but it's not the case in final year in, in final year you actually have to go out to postings see patients and actually go from that phase of being a student to becoming a doctor and that has been the major shift that i've seen happen in the past one week of this year last week was pretty awesome i am posted in obstetrics and gynecology as you just saw and one of the classes which we had was from our beloved deshmukh sir who is the hod of obstetrics and gynecology and he taught us such such good things i mean i became an absolute total fan of sir because he taught us the soft skills he taught us how to talk to patients and how to communicate with them how to make them feel comfortable instead of just focusing on like this is the disease and this is the patient he actually taught us that you don't have to be so mechanical with things you have to actually you know have some empathy have some values for them and also think about the overall things you know i think that this was what was missing in my life uh, i was really really focused on theories and i was really focused on reading books and really focused on doing the lectures all in the cube bank all of that but uh, to be honest i was not really focused on you know treating patients and just patients that are actually human beings who actually have a lot of different feelings because in india we are basically taught to you know rapidly process everything because such a huge amount of people come to the hospital there's a lot of different inadequacies in the administration and everything so we sort of lose that touch and our hod really really taught us well about uh, the <clears throat> the moral side of medicine that is is so much so that i was really inspired to put up an instagram post about it last week we saw a ton of cases one was the spree eclampsia the other was multi fetal pregnancy that is twins in the ot we saw hysterectomy oophorectomy we saw an lscs that is cesarean section and we were also given theory classes as well as practicals on how to take the history and how to examine a patient for for obstetrics for the clinical aspect i have been following this book that is hutchinson's for medicine to learn about the general and systemic examination and this one for uh, obstetrics because it's got the cases over here and the exact moment where it hit me that i am in the last year is when we went to the ot and we were supposed to know everything and that is when i realized the pressure that a final year student goes through because there are nine subjects we've got medicine surgery obstetrics pediatrics dermatology anesthesia orthopedics radiology and psychiatry so these nine subjects club together in one single year so studying these subjects as well as preparing for exams all while attending clinics and learning a lot of different skills that you have to take in is going to be one tough adventure which i am ready to take this year will be also a lot about reading books because the books which i'm going to be reading are totally going to be clinical and instead of focusing much more on the theory part i'm going to be focusing much more on the practical part like i said so if you're a first or second year student watching this read your books thoroughly know your disease as well read pathology microbiology totally nicely because once you are done with that all of these things become easy for you and most of all enjoy life in the first 3 years of mbbs because once you get into final year is going to be tough as you are probably aware by watching this video itself i've got a few emails that i need to reply so i'll just keep on doing that and after that i'll Show probably start studying it's like to be circling among the clouds because without you by my side i would be stuck here on the ground you light up the way i can see the road ahead of me i won't be stumbling in the dark After this I recorded a video for the channel which I posted on Thursday I was down until you saved me until you set me free If you're enjoying the video please consider subscribing because making videos such as this take up a ton of time and effort and energy to make and subscribing in just 2 seconds would make up for all of that and sat down to watch one lecture from Ops and Guy since we're not really sure whether it's going to be neat PG or next for us 18 batch the only resource that I'll be using is Maro my plan is to start giving grant tests in about one month where I've completed at least a good chunk of the syllabus by at least watching the videos or doing the question bank itself the videos are precise and they are also clinically oriented because in ops gyne whatever i've learned i've also seen that in the ward so watching the maro videos plus going to the clinical posting and solving the question bank would i think prepare us pretty good for any question that might come There's this new feature called as schema which is added to Maro. You can find it by scrolling down to the QBank section. So schema is basically like an indexing system where they've got all the important topics listed along with how many questions that topic has yielded in the past few years. One of the best part is that they've also added an indicator of how many questions you've solved from that particular topic and how good was your performance. For example, if you see a red thing, that is probably bad whether and if you see a blue marker, that is probably a good sign that you did most of the questions correctly this system helps us analyze which all topics do we need to cover in detail how many questions are asked and how much energy should we put 
into each of them. I've got a video coming up in around two months where I'll talk in detail about my marrow strategy. So subscribe if you wanna check that out. After the lecture was done, I took a break and went to the rooftop. Hello everyone, I'm at the rooftop. It's 6.30 and the sun is about to set. Enjoying a quick snack and I've just quickly set up this table to record the next part of the video. So let us start for the books with finally MBBS. As far as I'm aware, I'm also in the learning phase so whatever I might recommend to you that might not be the best because I haven't read them. So based on the senior's opinions, here's the list. This I'm going to be using a combination of Davidson and Harrison. For surgery, it's Bailey and Love. With the clinical book of S. Das. For pediatrics, it's Ghai. For Robson Ghai, it's Datta and Shaw. For orthopedics, it's Maheshwari. And the remaining subjects I'm not really aware of. So I'm just going to stick to marrow notes as well as some other resources or books that I might find online. Going to the gym, it's around 8 and gonna do one hour of workout, probably some cardio, probably some weight training. This is probably the only time I get to exercise because otherwise I'm busy so busy So let's go. I'm back from the gym, I also had my dinner. It's time to give reading that ta one solid hour because I have a case presentation tomorrow and yeah, I'm gonna read up on that. So I'm just gonna start reading Datta. I sat for a proper one and a half hour reading the chapter of normal labor from the textbook of Datta. And that is how my day ended at 12.30 in the night, being totally productive from the morning. If you're enjoying the video, please consider subscribing because making videos such as this take up a ton of time, effort and energy to make and subscribing in just two seconds would make up for all of that. Let's hit 15,000 likes on this one. Subscribe if you haven't already. And it's your boy Anuj. I'll catch you in the next vlog. Goodbye.